Well, hello there. Anyway, uh, it's just a nice redhead cover, Jean Grey. Um, these are my new labels. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I want to actually mention something that I, I forgot to say earlier in regards to some of these uh, Jim Lee uh, Punisher books. So I got to actually look it up because I'm not 100% sure, but it'd be actually really easy to find out where to go. I feel like when um, Jason Lee is with Shannon Doherty, uh, rest, rest in peace Shannon Doherty, um, I feel like one of the things that Brody uh, mentions to a, uh, is it Alyssa? That might be T.S.'s girl. Anyway, one of the things that he mentions uh, that he wants back from her is his copy of, uh, like, he left his remote control, <laughs> it was VCR, and his copy of Punisher uh, War Journal 15. Okay, I see you want to continue with this charade of ending our union. Fine, I'll play along. But if we're divorced, we're going to have to divide our mutual possessions. What the hell are you talking about? You have my Punisher War Journal number six, my copy of Fletch, and the remote control to my... I just thought that was kind of cool. I mean, there was a time when hearing any comic book get a shout-out in a, like a real Hollywood movie was, was pretty sick, but like a, a cool Jim Lee book like that. But anyway, uh, so seeing this one um, jogged my memory. Uh, Punisher War Journal 7. This is a book that Drossier has mentioned. Um, this artist, Adam Warren's popular. And I saw this one for a dollar, um, Gen 13 bootleg 10. Uh, the big Gen 13 bootleg book is uh, issue 18. With the Bruce Wayne cover. The babes in the foreground, and, and Roxy's basically uh, pouring uh, ice cool. cola down uh, Grunge's uh, swim trunks for being so captivated by the uh, the beach bunny. Uh, another artist I really like, I was going to spotlight. Oh, no, no, I didn't know shit. Like, I could just grab some shit, and you would say, oh, it's great art. Oh, grimy. Do you know what I mean? I float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Gee, he's a big Amanda Connor fan, but... Uh, here's a nice Vampirella. These are all uh, Amanda Connor images of Vampirella. Yeah, I thought this was really cool. And... This Vampy, also by Amanda Connor. Kind of similar poses. So I, I love it when artists also do the same pose. Like, uh, so they get obsessed with getting it right. Like Van Gogh uh, painting those sunflowers over and over again. What do you mean, we're out uh, of so yellow? These vampy books are by, uh, they are from Anarchy Studios. That's uh, 22. <laughs> So another trade. So we're not doing all floppies. This is uh, the Danny Ketch uh, Ghost Rider stuff. This collects a lot of Bagley, uh, Xero, and uh, Javier uh, Salteros. Sometimes these books go for a little something. Made, that was a spooky ghost. Even the early Ghost Rider 90s stuff. 
That was so popular when I was a kid. GH remembers them like uh, Punisher ongoing series number one. It was like a wall book. I still remember these being really popular. Yeah, I'm moving back in the sky. We need a chiropractor when we can do Actually, I don't think a chiropractor could crack him into the house. I crack where so, I wanna crack. That's just going to be a nice thing. Um, it's like good papers. A nice semi glass, very easy on the eyes. Break out my glasses, you know, sit in the, um, sit in a nice, Nice location with a couple of a couple of lamps overhead, and I could maybe read a one of these a night when I get home. Have some tea. Have some ramen. So uh, I mentioned uh, Tashira, uh, Texaira. Uh, there's a right way to say it, but that's neither here nor there. Rex. Kachoot on Tex! Tex! Uh, this is Lynn Michaels, The Punisher. So I got this, I got this one for really cheap. Uh, I wanted this book for a long time. Um, and that's the truth. Uh, I, I've been pining for this book for a while. And I always kind of denied it because uh, it's like only so much tolerance you have for just just cool books being 30, 30 bucks. But like you know, this this for like five or seven. Yeah, you know, sure. Nice uh, cover swipe of Zex. What is that issue? It's either issue one or three. Uh, Zex uh, stuff. Uh, I saw these for cheap. I I recently, with the help of Mr. Comic Finds, I've moved my Spawn collection. I love Spawn, but man, those books were just, they were just going for too much. And they were just kind of sun running, um, like $100 for just regular issues of Spawn. Uh, there was just too much meat on the bone. I, I sold a lot of my spawn, but I, I always have a soft spot for Angela. Even uh, if in the scheme of things, she's now uh, Thor's Prima. Um, you still love the redhead from spawn. Oh, wow. The Dragon Slayer. Uh... Nice Adam Hughes, Wildcats, X-Men, The Modern Age. I guess they've just been on a real wolvy kick. And um, Voodoo is always a For sure. Uh, speaking of Hughes, here's the only Hughes that uh, Big Elbow has any tolerance for. Stephen Hughes. Oh yeah, this this was a nice find. I got this Dark Hawk issue one, um, pharmaceutical store version, library used copy. No, it's it's okay. Issue one. Uh, who does the work on this? Is it Manly? I like a good street level uh, vigilante. Um, here's another cover. PG like the cryptic writings of Megadeth. It's a Megadeth uh, set of comics. That's cool. I never have this Miracle Man 3D. That's an Austin painting. I guess Terry Austin from 82. This is the Miracle Man. That. Here's the other first initial J, last name Lee. Huge 90s artist, so this is J Lee. <laughs> and, uh, J A E Lee. This is a 
Nintendo box art. But, uh, yeah, more Jim Lee Wolvey from the 90s. Pre-Scott Williams. Found that. I'm buying the Punisher books when I see them for cheap, but I'm also buying Spongebox. Spongebob Square. I need a Topo Chico. So I need... Uh, I can't even say it. It's such a ridiculous name, it's almost like, you know, it's hard to put the words together. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? But, um, fish sticks. Fish sticks. Kanye knows what that's about. The fish sticks cometh. Here's a kind of seldom seen Bruce Tim cover. But it's uh, Kiss Kids. And we have the Golem looking a lot like. <laughs> so, thought that was cool. Where was I? Inside Image. This is kind of a cool book. This was like before they had that Image magazine. But, uh,. Just a cool take on the Sam Key, Max, and Pit. Uh, Vertigo Essential. This isn't the uh, facsimile, um, but this is the Sandman Preludes and Nocturnes. Unfortunately, unlike the uh, republished Ellen Moore stuff with the uh, Tettlebin and the set, this is not in black and white, which is a real downer. I would have loved to have had this in black Don't and white. Don't say anything. Fuck it. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. one of my boxes. Arthur Adams. Uh, anytime he does uh, the White Queen, I just, I have to get it. And... Arthur Adams was a huge influence on uh, J. Scott Campbell. Yeah. Big rosy cheeks. <laughs> and big rosy cheeks. <laughs> Full cheeks. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I was I was pulling a lot of my Casada stuff. Um this one's actually signed by Paul Miotti. Well, this is a wondrous, wondrous gatefold. You know, gatefold it would imply more than just front and back, but it's a very nice cover. I'm showing the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being selfish. I want to see it. I had uh, Paul Miot sign this for me at Comic Con Revolution. Just a nice, nice sculpting job by Paul Miot. And we got kind of a semi pointed ear. Hey, she's like a little elf, Chora. This is a really hey, nice. What are you uh, doing later? Really nice collaboration between those two. So I don't have the first print of this, but I do have also Vengeance of Emperor. This is issue one. The other one was issue 25, but I have the green one. It's just, it's nice. There's a lot to be said for the red one, though. The red one, it's just, it really gets you there, the white and red. But, um, she's got the boots, she's got the everything, she's got the collar. Uh, no pointed ear this time. But, um, it's a really nice collaboration. 
Vampirella uh, Painkiller Jane issue. <coughs> issue one, I'm assuming. This is a AOK from David Seeking Women Comics. Shout out to David. I missed that dude. That's cover two. Uh, also signed by uh, by Jenny. Uh, that for all zero. Uh, real quick, sort of Azrael. Davis has a sort of Azrael book signed by Denny O'Neill. But this is early on when I was really, really starting to like Casada. This is what Casada looks like inked by uh, Kevin Kevin Nolan. Uh, real fast, because um, I know I I push my luck showing Valiant sometimes. Ah, oh, Valiant. Um, but That's where I draw some the line. So, this is where I really started to like Casada. And uh, it had a lot to do with him working on at Image. Not, not so much Image, but excuse me, Valiant. Here's Casada inked by uh, Art Fiber. Yoga Lane! Tell me, them boys, that Valiant Studios aren't hip. You really gotta get these and open them up. It is such a joy to see McFarlane drawing Wolverine at this time. Uh, more Posada. Batman 500 is a nice book. Ray. This is fun. I can't wait to do this video showing only Posada books. I hope I'm not spoiling it now, but I, there's a lot more. Uh, here's what. More uh, Kevin Nolan on Posada looks like. Sleepwalker issue one of the holiday special. Uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight uh, Zero. Story called uh, Viewpoint. October 94 by uh, Vince Giardano, Mike Zack, Tim Sell, Joe Staten, etc. Here's another uh, Jim Lee, 73. This book is just a roster of names. Uh, Bartasio, uh, Byrne, Leonardi, Silvestri, Golden, uh, Stroman, Lee, Williams. Like, <laughs> this is when it took a lot of guys to do a book. Ooh, a lot of this one for... Um, uh, the Kelsey Jones of it. I didn't say Chelsea Glamour that time. Uh, yeah, I got I got a friend out there I thought would enjoy seeing um, Roadrunner. Wild E. Coyote. Lobo. Mess with the main man, and, and you get the. The cool thing about it is um, Kelly Jones did the whole thing. 
so day after day. Look at that, they're like they're growing Alone like super Sylvester the Cat, Wily e. Coyote and Roadrunner. Just to kind of give you an idea when this came out. But um they find a good page of the main man. Almost done. I'm not even going to be able to edit this video because <laughs> it won't fit into my phone. <laughs> I just got to like blast it straight into YouTube. Like I said, a lot of this stuff I just pulled from my collection. This, this wasn't like a, a shopping spree or something. Uh, Jim Lee, uh, you got to have Jim drawing Ghost Rider. Um... Superman Annual, Mark Casada, Marvel Knights Casada. This was a great book. This just con consisted of a collection of Marvel Two and One, of uh, Thing stories. But this was uh, Adventures of the Thing. It was a really good Sam Peep cover, but it's a really nice Casada. On the thing and Ghost Rider. You know what? See that? That takes my breath away. He drew the thing in a really cool way, right? It's inked by Dan Panosian. Daredevil Man Without Fear. Kev Smith, uh, Daredevil. Sada, Superman, Man of Steel. I guess they had him like do annuals a lot. He was just kind of like uh, he was in the editor's Rolodex, just banging out like the past cover. Uh, this is cool. This is Jim Lee drawing X Men and Ghost Rider on this cover. Uh, Ghost Rider 26. That see, that's really nice. Once, once you start getting those lines, it's all Williams. I don't think Jim really bothers with that. X-Men 9. The other part of that crossover. With Ghost Rider. Speaking of which, here's Casada on Ghost Rider. Here's more of that. Um, Wolverine and Spider-Man by McFarlane. Oh, yeah. And if you're having Ghost Rider, you gotta have McFarlane on Ghost Rider. Uh, more Punisher. Casada Palmiotti. Uh... Wow, I can't believe the Punisher was only ever a dollar. I always felt like Punisher books were just a little bit more expensive, but Here's the Punisher uh, 55 jigsaw cover. You just tell it's a Casada. Here's a really cool one. This reminds me a lot of his cover for the Nom. Uh, the Adventures of Superman. Lobo. Vampirella, another great Casada Palmiati. Um, the thing about this one, it's it's a cool book, and that's a nice that's a nice Casada right there. Beautiful profile, but if you really want to really want to enjoy it, you got to open it up. Now that's a sick Casada. Sick. Love the guy. I love him when he when he does the shadows like that. No one is when it comes to doing that. No one is iller than Casada. No one. I will I will stand up for Casada when it comes to doing light and shadow like that. Can't touch him. Can't. It's just that good. 
And as a kid, I was just, just gaga over that. Uh, pulled some of my Ash books. This was their uh, event comics. Here's the Crucible. See, like, <laughs> just, hey, we meet like this again. So uh, that's that's the end of this part. There'll be one more uh, from this little recording I, I did. Um, so I kind of ran out of uh, edits towards the end. So I just the last five minutes is pretty straight up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the last part, I think it's just more of the same. So if if uh, you've derived any joy from this video, um, hopefully the third part will will be just as good. All right, thanks.